Oh my God, isn't this amazing? Oh my God, how cool. She's very much inspired by old Chanel mm -hmm. 1930s. So that's a collaboration that we did with all the girls. Oh my Bailey. God, the pocket. Hello, Miami. We are here talking and shopping in the magic city. More than Art Deco, Miami has emerged as a hotbed of art and culture, design and style. Known for the sun, sand, and of course, Art Deco, it has exploded to include many new neighborhoods to explore, and of course, inspiring people to meet. So let's go talking and shopping in Miami. So this is the Design District, an area of luxury shopping and sought after boutiques mixed with gorgeous restaurants and art galleries. It's a shopping mecca with aesthetics at every turn and a street style paradise. Fashion, art, design collides here. The district is home to, of course, all the luxury brands you could imagine. Givenchy, Tom Ford, the list goes on. It also has a good dose of all the cool girl brands like Ghani, Alice and Olivia and Cult Gaia. So let's go have a peek. South Beach is synonymous with Miami, the original hub of style, celebrity, and culture, with Art Deco buildings, sherbet colors, and feelings of glitz and glamour. Ocean Drive is known the world over for drawing club kids, tastemakers, and the well-heeled, and those famous boutique hotels are personalities all on their own. Welcome to the Gabriel Curio Collection by Hilton. It is right here on South Beach and housed in the historically preserved Park Central Hotel. The Gabriel sits on one of the most photographed stretches of Ocean Drive. The hotel boasts four buildings, a rooftop pool, and Floridian aesthetics of pastel hues. Meet Dahlia is their signature restaurant serving gorgeous Mediterranean cuisine. With beautiful interiors and an art deco bar, the elegance welcomes you upon arrival. Today I am meeting Ceci Mistre, owner of the fantastic independent boutique Theme Dresser, an online platform and showroom. Known for her distinct, one-of-a-kind hats, Ceci has grown her brand into a full ready-to-wear offering of emerging designers. While she is dressing Miami's finest, she aims to promote confidence and empower women through individual style. Hey! Oh my God! Hey, sweetie! It's so, so nice to meet you! So nice to meet you! How are you, sweetie? You look great! Here, and the baby. hat! The hat, the hat, the hat! I love oh it. We God. gotta get you a hat. So you started with the incredible hand-painted hats. I did. And then moved into curating emerging designers? Yes, so what happened was that I would start photographing and styling these hats, right? And then girls would start asking me, so where's your swimsuit from? Where's your top from? And so I'm sending them to all these different websites and these different boutiques. And here, as a businesswoman, I'm thinking I'm losing a huge chunk of change if I can just source my own pieces. I really wanted to first empower women. I represent over 40 female designers around the world. And to me, it was very important to have original brands. I love to go on Instagram at 2 a.m. That's like my key time, 2 a.m. That's when my brain turns on. And I just jump from one page to another page. I'll follow a stylist who tags this one designer. And then I just kind of go down the rabbit hole. Going down the digital rabbit hole is actually so amazing for those who are curious. We have to talk about the Miami style. The Miami <laughs> style of the past. Okay. And the Miami style presently. I just think that whatever makes a woman feel confident, comfortable, um, fresh, elegant, you should show a little bit of skin because Miami is a very sexy yeah, place, it but it's all about dressing elegantly yeah. to me. That's sort of my Miami style, is incorporating this sort of swim lifestyle, yes. right? And, and, and just adding layers of linen and beautiful hand-painted pieces, interesting sunglasses. Um, because a little different. So mm -hmm. I tend to dress a lot of housewives, um, women that work in corporate America, um, just regular everyday women, and these women just want to look elegant. Can you divulge any celebs that you have dressed here in Miami? One of my favorite girls to dress is Dr. Nikki Martin. She's one of the housewives of Miami. I love her. I love her. We went to school together and she's just a really fun girl and she comes in and we play dress up. We just have so much fun. It's like girlfriends in a closet, just yep. mixing pieces together. She looks amazing in everything that she wears. She's such a big supporter of the brand and I just feel so grateful to have women like that that just stand behind the brand and help us grow. Okay. Oh 
that's so beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And who would you love to style? So I would love to style Natalie Portman. She's one of my absolute favorite actresses. To me, she is a perfect combination mm -hmm. of elegant and cool and trendy. So you've been doing some excellent pop-ups with the likes of Love Shack Fancy. Yes. Can you speak to the importance of like collaboration and lifting people up and finding like minds? Collaboration is everything. I try to team up with as many women as I can. Mm -hmm. um, brands, individual designers, I host pop-ups in my store. I will travel yeah. and you know do pop-ups for the Boys and Girls Club of Fort Lauderdale, uh, Miami for Miami Swim Week, mm -hmm. um, for Art Basel with Love Shack Fancy. Just so many different opportunities to grow mm -hmm. as a brand. Just networking alone is so impactful. It's so, there's so much value. I grew up with my family working in, in the fashion business. So I remember as a child running through their showroom with racks of clothing and just like running with my hands open, remembering that feeling of, man, I love this world. I have really just wanted it so badly and I've worked towards it so much that the universe has just gifted me yeah. with all these amazing opportunities. So my dream was always to have a storefront. I started uh, selling e-com and I did that yeah. for about six months. And what happened was my dining room turned into a little boutique. And yeah. so my little kids were running around and um, eventually found this space. Mm -hmm. And I expanded this space two weeks ago. So you're actually the first oh, one to come in. I love discovering things that are new, off the beaten path, of course, things that center around emerging designers and independent because so much of style, I think, is found in that category versus fast fashion and, and luxury. Talk to me about uh, some of your favorite pieces this season. So I'll tell you a few of my favorite pieces this season. I'm really into these slip dresses. Yeah, beautiful. It's from a brand called Beckenbridge. They're based out of Australia, mm -hmm. a brand that I love. Um, this is a brand called New. It's the set that I'm wearing here today. Um, just different styles, and I feel like you can just wear this year round in Miami. Here, MDCR, I love her pieces. Oh she features gosh. a lot of bows, but yeah. the tailoring is just impeccable. And I'll tell you, my third brand that I absolutely yeah. love and adore is Steven Valencia. Okay. All three of these are Colombian designers. They're all emerging designers. Yeah. They're all under the age of 30, okay. and they're just ultra talented. Their fits are insane. I'm obsessed with them. I'm seeing pearls and black and pearls and so it's interesting because this is a collaboration uh, that we did with MDCR for the holidays. I oh, love you pearls. Did it. Yeah, so we collaborated and this is something that we do in the store often. It's really just a combination of the designer's point of view, my own point of view, and we come up with these pieces together. It's a true collaboration. This is beautiful. But to me, there's nothing worse than walking into an event and somebody's wearing the exact same thing that you're wearing. So I really try curating pieces where I'm only purchasing one or two of each piece. I also have agreements with certain designers where I'm the only one to carry their pieces in Miami, in yeah. Florida, in the US. So this way I can sort of um, separate myself from all the other boutiques. We wanted to show off our, our goods yeah. and have you look at our, our spread here. They're all hand painted, they're sustainable, they have maximum UV protection mm -hmm. and they're water resistant. We designed them all here in Miami and we've worked with artisans in Mexico that hand make and hand paint the hats for us. For four years we've worked with the same artisans. Um, it's all slow fashion, it's all made to order, I don't mass produce anything and um, the idea is originality. So every hat's hand painted so they're all one of a kind in their own way. So in four years you've gone from hats to ready to wear to collaborations. And pop-ups and accessories and running a business. I mean, it's all just been Google built and just learning sort of along the way. Oh my God, isn't this amazing? Yeah. Oh my God, how cool. She's very much inspired by old Chanel mm -hmm. 1930s. So that's a collaboration that we did with all the pearls. Oh my God, the pockets. A lot of black and white. So pretty. You would See how he cuts? Know. Like he yes. cuts here, yeah. but it's not too much stomach. It's no. like he understands. So flattering, so sexy. I feel like this is Miami. Thank you so much oh, for coming and shopping with us and for hanging out with me today. Now it's time for Beauty in the Beach, and I'm here in Sunset Harbor at G Beauty. G is a modern makeup studio filled with skincare, treatments, and their own makeup collection. I'll be meeting co-founder Celine G. She's gonna fill me in on growing a business, building community, and creating a makeup collection. Let's go talking and shopping with Celine G. 
Celine. Oh my Hi. God. Thank you. I'm very good. Thank you Welcome. so much for having us. Thank you. We're so happy to have you guys. All right. Show me. Yeah. Come on in. It's like MTV Cribs. But I know. It's a beauty, a beauty right? studio. Skincare, yeah. makeup. Our makeup brands. This is where we do our uh, treatments, brow treatments, and then we have our private facial suites down here at the back of the studio. It's like the holy grail of skincare, yeah. right? So, of this array of amazing products, how do you choose what's going to be in your routine? Really by skin type. So for me, I love to try everything, but I have an oily skin type. Sometimes I can break out, so I know the ingredients that really target my skin that make it look the best. So I'm looking for serums with hyaluronic acid, I look for lightweight gels, I love lactic acid to exfoliate my skin, so that could be different than Natalie's skin or Miriam or Stephanie or all of our clients. So it's really about learning the ingredients that really work for your skin, just like you would shopping for the certain type of jeans or the right like style you're going for with your clothes, that's how you really start to like create your best skin regimen. So you mentioned your sisters and your mother, so of course it's a family affair. It is, yes. You have a very glamorous matriarch. Yes. You know, there's three beautiful Absolutely. daughters. Yes. Was makeup and self-expression always part of your upbringing? Um, my father was in advertising, my mother started an editorial and was a self-taught makeup artist, but really beauty started because we had problematic skin as teenagers and really didn't know how to take care of our skin and feel confident. You get, you know, a little self-conscious and you're not sure how to treat your skin. Mm -hmm and feel great about it. So a need in the market for something that was a more modern experience that was a little different than a spa or you know a department store or yes. a shopping mall, yeah. Can you explain to me a little bit about what is meant and ethos of being a modern beauty studio? So for us it's really about being in the neighborhood with our clients. You come from the gym, you drop off your clothes at the dry cleaning, you grab a juice, you meet friends for coffee. We want you to be integrated into your daily routine. This isn't something that you have to put off and go take care of your beauty once every three, four months. It's really a part of your day, a part of your, it's like getting your Starbucks, we used to say, that speak to your everyday lifestyle, coming in for a 15 minute eyebrow appointment, seeing an immediate yeah. lift and shape, you know, picking up a blush color, picking up a lipstick, coming in for a 45 minute oxygen facial, or saying, you know what, I really want to create changes in my skin. I'm going to commit to coming in once every eight weeks for the next six months and I want to create a regimen and a plan for my skin to get the results I'm looking for. So it's really about working with your lifestyle. I'm absolutely fascinated that you guys have your own makeup collection. How does it start? How does one make a makeup product? We've always carried our own brand of makeup and what's been so incredible about it is that because we have client relationships and we see our clients coming in, picking up skincare, having a facial, having beauty treatments, and so we're really able to see what, it, what the demand is and what our clients are looking for. So that information, or data as we call it, really mm. informs the product development. So is Prime Skin the hero? Prime Skin is the ultimate hero product because it's kind of like a three-in-one. A primer, a tinted moisturizer, and like a skin polisher all in one. And you put it on and it just instantly makes your skin better without covering it up yeah. or making it feel heavy. It really moves with your skin. It took us about two years to really choose the right bottle, doing all the stability testing, developing color expansions, really complementing our best-selling shades with more variety. So what I'm hearing is growth. Yes. Things are growing. Yes. I love our bronzers. I absolutely love our bronzers. Yeah. I love our brightening concealers. Our foundation sticks are excellent for someone with my skin type that yeah. wants to kind of smooth and brighten the skin but not create too much excess shine. So those are incredible for like medium to full coverage. Our brushes are also phenomenal. They're vegan. They're super durable. They really help to blend the makeup. Would you want to speak to a little bit about how the pandemic was for you guys? You know, we are very, very lucky and blessed and fortunate that our clients really supported us mm -hmm. through the pandemic, shopped our e-commerce site, and really we developed such a great connection yes. with our community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We spoke to them very honestly and simply mm -hmm. and updated them about what was happening in our business um, and also created excitement and content with what we were doing, the, the at-home beauty rituals, mm -hmm. the way that we were trying to develop ourselves. So I'm super nosy, yes. but would you mind touching me up and I'm going to yeah, ask you a few more questions? Absolutely. You've built an incredibly inspiring business. It's quite multifaceted. Will you take me back to the very beginning days? Definitely. So it really was, you know, a family business. We started in Rosedale and I think very much this neighborhood philosophy where beauty was accessible 
and we started with eyebrow treatments, makeup applications and lessons, mm. and you know, oxygen facials. And in a great environment that really felt like an open studio philosophy, you know, while still having, you know, the privacy of treatments and everything like that. And then it just grew very organically, listening to what our clients were looking for, offering them the treatments and the services that spoke to them, their skin, their lifestyle. That really was how we coined this idea of beauty lifestyle, which mm -hmm. was everything about your day-to-day -day life and the way that you took care of yourself. So it was very natural and organic. And then we decided to open here in Miami a little over 10 years ago mm -hmm. to really bring this same concept of modern beauty with a signature Miami glamour mm -hmm. and, you know, create something very similar to the Toronto experience, but also something that's very natural and unique to Miami. Can you speak to your personal philosophy about wellness on the inside and out? You really have to find what works for you, and that's not easy to do. It takes time, but you have to try different mm -hmm. things. So I really think about the foods that I eat, my lifestyle. I love to cook. Mm -hmm. I love knowing what's in my food. I love experimenting in the kitchen. And then from there, also what was really important to me is being active, walking, dry brushing, doing things to yeah. stimulate my lymphatic system. Yeah. So there's an eye-watering amount of products on the market and being thrown at you. And then you like one thing on Instagram and then things come at you, it's wild. Do you guys feel the need to keep up? Do you try to keep up with trends in the beauty industry? They we're really focused on what the clients are mm -hmm. asking for. So if there is a trend in what the clients are curious about or trying, obviously we'll look into it and we'll yeah. see how it fits or how it's aligned for us. We've tried things in the past, whether it's offering different types of services or brands that weren't really our true philosophy and it doesn't work as well because we really are focused on this modern approach to beauty and how does that like fall yes. into the dynamics. And Miami does have a little bit of a reputation, aesthetics and looks. Yes. Would you guys say things have changed? Definitely. There's been such an incredible evolution in Miami. We are so, although we are proud Canadians, I'm so proud to be in Miami. Yeah. It's an amazing community of creative people. There is such a welcoming energy and spirit here mm -hmm. and there's a lot of opportunity here and a lot of newness and growth, especially in the last couple of years. So that's so exciting to see. I think there's incredible style here and what's great is that you can be whoever you want here. You can dress however you want. You can. Nothing, there's no nothing is shocking because everyone is just really expressing themselves and enjoying themselves and that's what's so exciting about it and so it creates this level of like excitement and glamour because people are just having fun there is nothing like Miami which is so cool it's a really fun wall for sure what excites you I mean it all excites yeah. me like I'm lighting a candle I'm using essential oils in the bath I'm dry brushing before the bath Mm -hmm. This is an amazing paddle. Um, it's actually a Miami brand called Delaheart. So you um, use it on your body to help with lymphatic drainage and stimulation of your circulation. It's incredible. You add oil to your body and then you use the paddle, you know? And then sometimes it's things that are like just good old fashioned dry brushing mm -hmm. that's been around since like the dawn of time, but there's nothing that stimulates your system more than dry brushing. And this is Canadian? Yeah, Erin Kleinberg, yeah. it's her company City. Yeah, super cool. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Do you have advice for women in business or starting a brand or growing a brand? I would say, you know, we're very blessed that we, that, you know, that we have each other as a support system. My sister's my mother and I, so I would say, you know, find a support system if it's best friends or family members or anyone that you, or if there's someone that you want to have as your mentor to really find, you know, some relationships that you can rely on and really, you know, bounce off of and lean on to support because it's very hard. Like, Surviving in business today, it takes an incredible amount of work and determination. So I think that that's really important. You know, it's much more common for women in business in the beauty industry. So we don't have some of the challenges like other industries, but I think we're always, you know, fighting to achieve and get to the next level and create more success. Thank you so much, it was so nice. Enjoy. So that's a wrap on Talking and Shopping Miami. It was a fantastic day meeting inspiring women. So until next time, I'm Lauren Walker-Lee and this is Talking and Shopping.